Let's take a look at how the measurement window works. We can directly drive several of the common spectrophotometers on the market today. This video shows how to measure using the X-Rite Exact. The Exact is a high-end spectrophotometer that is mainly designed to give very accurate measurements of single patches. X-Rite has recently added the ability to scan a whole row of patches at once. The idea is to be able to scan a whole color bar across a press sheet. They have software to allow you to do this, even measure several strips in a row. Unlike other instruments, the Exact does not come with its own format of reference file. You're just supposed to plug in your requirements here, press the buttons, and then export your output at the end. We have put a lot of work into making the Exact work in our interface as easily as any other instrument. The Exact is going to want to know what size patches you are measuring. If you have a target definition file for another instrument, our software checks the header information in the reference file and tries to glean this information if it's there. If not, you can either enter the patch width in millimeters, or to be more accurate, you can enter the length of the entire row, and the software will automatically calculate the patch width. You can even add this patch size information into your target reference file yourself if you want. Let us know if you need more information about that. The Exact also has a requirement that the paper white be measured before you can start scanning. The bottom of the screen lists the measurement parameters that are available to you. The Exact can do all four measurement modes, including M3. M1 requires you to manually slide the filter lever on the Exact to the one position. And note that you're going to get a prompt to measure the paper white in all of these measurement modes except M1. M1 doesn't need to have a separate paper white measurement. RF is for reflective measurements, which is appropriate for an exact. A lot of these options are grayed out if they're not applicable to your instrument. In scanning mode, place the measuring reticule directly in the middle of the first patch of the first row. Then you slide the instrument across the page until the instrument stops measuring. Other devices have you start in the white space before and end in the white space after. The Exact wants you to start directly on the patch. As it says, you can also scan right to left or left to right, whichever you want. The software will automatically figure out where to place the patches. If you make a mistake, you can use the arrows to step up to a previous row and measure again. When you're done, tap the Home button on the Exacts screen to save, or you can click Save in the software here. With this scanning capability added to the Exact, now you can measure entire sheets, even multi-page profiling targets, using a high-quality press-side instrument, and doing it with any measurement mode you want. Thanks for watching.